Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you saw some of my latest videos, you probably noticed this machine over here sitting on my desk. Today I'm going to explain what it is and why it's so cool. This is the Bentham Tool Desktop PCB Mill. I won this machine from Circuits Maker FR1 PCB Challenge with my PCB robot. Now why does an electronics engineer like me need a tool like this? It's really simple. Breadboards. When you're thinking about a new circuit and you have absolutely no idea if it's going to work or not, you need something to verify your design. And the most common way you can validate your circuit is either by using a simulation or by using a breadboard. Now personally I find simulation software is great for testing out the behavior of analog circuits but for the digital part it's not that easy to simulate my controllers. There are IDs that have this feature but I find them useless. So breadboards are a quick way of how I can test and make sure that I don't make any expensive mistakes in my PCB. But the biggest disadvantage of breadboards is that they do not have a safe button. Once you're done testing with a circuit, you basically have two options. Either remove that circuit to test a new one, or store it somewhere and pray to God that no wires are moved. The other thing that I didn't mention is that with a breadboard you can only test through whole components. So if you want to test something with a surface mount, you need a breakout. So this milling machine is basically a solution for all those things. I haven't actually tried to mill a PCB with it yet. So let's design one and try it out. So the circuit is going to consist from a controller that has a SOIC package and an H bridge that is driving these four outputs. This H bridge has a QFM package with a pitch of 0.5 mm, so it's not going to be an easy piece of job for this milling machine. So I opened the Gerber files into the Bentham software and this is telling me that it cannot mill this breadboard killer text over here with the bits I got. So I'm just going to modify the layout and remove the text. Now that should be solved so let's feed some copper to the mill and let it do its magic. Okay, so that was faster than expected. Let's take a closer look at it under the microscope. So it looks like it managed to mill the QFM part without any problems, but it seems that it found some issues with this region here. Perhaps the copper was not properly aligned from my side, so what I'm going to do is try it again. I'm also going to reduce the thickness of the PCB through the software and see how that goes. This time, perfection. Now soldering is going to be a little messy because of the missing solder mask, but I still managed to solder the QFN without any problems whatsoever. I also had two missing traces on this design, but that is why this mill is for. I can just fix this issue in Altium and have the new design in minutes. Now something I really find interesting about this milling process is how fast it is. This one only took around 13 minutes to make and this design was using two different bits. If we want to speed up the process even more we can use the larger bit and have the clearance and the whole diameter the same size. To test this I made this new PCB with these roots defined and this time it only took 6 minutes to get milled. 6 freaking minutes. Now this PCB is not as complicated as the first PCB I made, but it also has this curve which takes it much longer to make. So making the outline rectangular can make the mill go even faster. There is also the possibility of making two layer PCBs with this mill, but obviously the vias will not be plated so you have to fill them with solder. PCBs are not going to be as professional as the ones I get manufactured, but I don't think that is the intent. The way I see this is like 3D printing for PCBs. You literally press a button and your circuit is completed. After soldering it, obviously. But you don't have to go through all the hassle of etching a PCB, which is the other alternative you have to use if you want to make PCB prototypes. Now this desktop mill is not only used to make PCBs. 
can also use it for engraving or milling metal or even plastic and this will be also very useful for my engineering channel so I hope you found this video interesting I would like to add that I was not paid to make this video so it is truly my honest opinion um, on this milling machine if it sucked I would tell you it sucked but I think Bentham is exploring a really interesting market with these desktop PCB mills um, if you like my content please consider supporting me on Patreon which would help me a lot um, so that's it, see you in the next video